standing up for the people of Ukraine. Government ministers and officials in The Hague are discussing how to bring justice to the victims of Russia's invasion, which began more than two years ago. The Council of Europe says there could be as many as 600,000 compensation claims. We are creating very concrete, systematic tools to compensate the damages caused by this war. Together with many countries and leaders, we cooperate on confiscating Russian assets and profits from them. All this should work for the people whom Putin tried to destroy with this war. The war has left tens of thousands dead and injured. It has left millions displaced. And it's resulted in a long and well-documented list of international crimes, over 100,000 and counting. That number not only underscores the gravity of this aggression, but also the need to support Ukraine. Because if we don't, the country's justice system will eventually collapse under the weight of these atrocities. As a foreign minister, I am perfectly aware that international justice always takes time. But as a Ukrainian, I cannot help but urge you to make every effort possible to serve that justice in small or big steps, but delivering tangible results every week, every month. A register of damage was formally opened at the conference.